아, 어쩔 수 없지. <웃음> 아, 고마워요. Okay, so um, we are going to design the case of this microcontroller. And when we design the, uh, you, and we are going to use uh, this acrylic sheet. And the thickness of this acrylic sheet is uh, roughly about two millimeter. And this is actually a um, caliper that I sh very shortly introduce at the week, uh, at the first week. And this is what you are going to use to measure anything. And then uh, the first thing you have to do is whenever you turn on the power of this caliper, uh, make sure that the inches millimeter or millimeter or inches. So you can actually change the unit by pressing this blue button. And then this one is changed to inch and make sure that this is millimeter. And then the second thing you have to do is close it as much as possible. And then make it that press this yellow button to make it zero. So now you are calibrate your caliper. And then if you measure the thickness of uh, this acrylic sheet, this one is two millimeter. And when you design some opening, let's imagine that uh, when you have this Arduino and then acrylic cover, you need to design the opening size of it. So when you do that, you probably, you need to measure the thickness of this pins. Your pin의 두께가 뭔지를 알아야 되겠죠. 여기 한 2.3mm 정도 돼요. 그러니까 여러분들 최소한 2.3mm보다는 커야 되겠죠. 그리고 이 폭은 어느 정도 되냐면 이 폭은 어 약한 4.75, 그러니까 한 47.5mm니까 한 50mm 정도라고 하겠죠. 그리고 이 아래쪽에 있는 거는 한 38mm 정도 나와요. 그리고 전체적인 알두이노의 크기는 한 53mm 정도 나오고 그리고 전체적인 길이는 요 USB USB 보드가 USB 커넥터가 있는데 그거는 무시를 할 거고 요 PCB 보드만의 크기를 잴 건데 요게 한 68mm 정도 나와요. 그리고 여러분이 이제 중요한 게요 높이를 재야 되잖아요. 이렇게 잘못 그래서 요 높이를 이럴 때 쓰라고 <웃음> 요게 요게 있어요. 캘리퍼에다 올려놓고. 네. 네. 두께를 두께를 좀 재보면 두께는 요 밑에 핀 같은 게 튀어나와 있거든요. 요거까지 감안하면 한 11mm 정도가 나와요. 근데 이제 요, 요기 USB까지 커넥터까지 연결된 거는 한 15mm 정도가 나와요. 요거는 제가 나중에 한번더 정리를 해줄게요. So I will kind of uh, I will write down each dimensions of Arduino a little bit later. But what we are going to learn today, 오늘 배울 거 뭐냐면, 보통 uh, you can actually find some JPEG images of Arduino, or you can actually sketch your Arduino case design on a paper, and you can take a picture of it, and actually you can use those sketches in Rhino. So I will uh, explain how to uh, how to use some JPEG images and use it. Uh, to make a 3D model in Rhino. So Rhino 모델에서 스케치나 이미지를 어떻게 써서 하는지를 설명을 해줄게요. 자 그러면, uh, so first we need to collect some JPEG images from internet probably. Uh, so let's say that I can search. Arduino you can you can just use Google image search and then let's say that try to select something very straightforward something like top view like images like this one 
요거를 제가 어떻게 할 거냐면 요 save as image로 할 거예요. So I can save uh, this image in another name. So I just save this one as Arduino image. And it said this one is WEBP file. It, uh, okay, so it will not work with Rhino. So we may need to use either JPEG or PNG. So I'll change another one. So let's say that I see, I found another one. Uh, let's try to save this image as another name. So this one is a JPEG file. So that looks very good to me. So 그래서 이거 Arduino로 저장할게요. I just save it as Arduino. And let's open uh, Rhino. 그러면 이제 Rhino를 열수 있겠죠? So I will, I will use it new and then make sure that your unit is millimeter. Or I explain that how to change unit. 여러분이 쓸 명령어가 뭐냐면 이미지를 쓸때 명령어가 so the, fun, the function, the name of the function that you need to use to import image to your Rhino file is called picture. 쉽죠? 기억하기. 네, picture라는 이미지를 쓰고 and then actually you can import any JPEG or PNG or you can actually import JPEG, PNG, PCX or Targative for other uh, images. So I just import the Arduino image that I collect from the internet and then actually this one asks to me that where is the first corner point of picture so uh, as usual i just click i type here uh, zero so i can locate it start on a zero point and then you can just simply uh, you can change any size for now 지금은 그냥 아무렇게나 그냥 클릭해서 갖고 올 거예요 and then uh, what they measure previously 우리가 그 우리가 기억 우리가 전에 했던 게 뭐냐면 우리 저 알두이노로 측정했잖아요. 요 크기가 어떻게 되냐면 이게 일단 그긴 거를 먼저 측정을 할 거예요. 왜냐하면 I will measure the longest side of this Arduino. So whenever you use your sketch, because to reduce the error uh, portion or proportion. So when I measure the PCB board, the length of PCB board, this one says 68.5. 이게 지금 제가 측정을 해보니까, so it said 68.5. I just write down somewhere. 68.5. So, and then the height is, so I just say the height is, uh, your height is your 높이에요. 높이를 재봤더니, 이게 한 53.4 정도. 50. 3.4. 어디다 적어 놓으세요? 53.4. So write down somewhere this dimension. And then what I'm going to do is I will draw the rectangle of that dimension. So I just click this rectangle button. And then I just click, I just type a zero. 0번이라고 쳤어요. 0에서 시작하려고. 그리고 이거 사이즈를 우리가 정할 수 있잖아요. So now we can actually set the dimensions for this width and length. So for the length, I type 68.5, which I measured before. It was 바로 측정한 걸쓸 거고. 그리고 width, I type, I type 53.4, which I also just measured. But you'll get, so now this is the, the exact Rhino's size. And we are going to match the JPEG image of JPEG image rectangle size to this size. So now you can select this image and locate the left lower corner here. And then using scale 2D or the scale, 여기를 한번 찍어요. 0인 곳을. So I click this zero as my first reference. And then I click this, you by pressing shift, I click the another side of it. I just click somewhere here and then I just enlarge it and match to my original rectangle. So by doing so, I, met, I kind of exactly matched the shape of the image and the rectangle size. 이거 이해되죠? 그래서 이미지를 처음에 아무렇게나 가져온 다음에 
So I first bring image and I measure the size of this Arduino and then I match the size exactly. 물론 이게 아주 정밀하지는 않은데 Of course this is not really precise but there are many many ways for you to make it really precise. 여러분들 가장 정확하게 할수 있는 방법은 뭐냐면 그 여러분들 학교에서 스캐너 쓸수 있잖아요. So you can use a scanner or copy machine, Xerox machine uh, that are located in a student restaurant or library. You can just you can copy this. You can actually scan this one. And then that scanned image is actually one to one size. So you can actually almost precisely match the size of it. Okay, so now what we are going to do from now on here is we want to identify the location of pins. So for here, uh, what I'm going to draw, uh, let's use layers also. So let's, let's clean up the layer. So let's say that the first layer is I called it uh, image. And then I select this image and change its layer to images. So default is image. And then I called boundary. And then I change the, this rectangle. Uh, it was it was a curve. I select the curve and then I change its layer to rectangle, uh, rectangle boundary. And then I need another opening uh, layer. So which I called it pins, pins opening. And then I make it set as current layer. And what I'm going to do is I will select the rectangle icon. So this is actually the where we need opening for a case acrylic. 그리고 우리 하나 더 필요하죠? 어디 필요하죠? 이 반대쪽에 하나 필요하죠? So you need another opening for the another series of pins that is located below. So this is opening for the bottom layers. 자, 그러면 이제 위, 그래서 우리가 이제 알두이노 핀은 다 됐고, 사실 여기 그, and then they are actually, we need, uh, we need another opening for this, these pins. So these pins are for only advanced users, but I'm highly expect that you will soon, you will, you guys will be soon expert. So I will make an opening for these pins too. There's opening and tateko. So we just finished all the opening. We identified the opening areas for all pins, uh, all pins on, on Arduino. And then actually there are, we may need another opening for the left side for USB connection and power connector. But however, I'll just skip this part, meaning that uh, I would not make any cover on the left side. So I will just skip that. But if you want, you can actually measure it and then you can make opening too. So from now on, actually, I don't really need this background image. The background image is the object. So these are all the information we need. Oh, uh, we need one more. Uh, so what we need actually, we need to actually, uh, we need the location of these holes. So I make another layer. So I called it, these are holes and then select the layers. And I'm going to use a uh, circle. But there, uh, as you see that there are many different ways of making circles. So in this case, I know that where the openings are. So I may use probably three point circle. So I selected this one. And then I just select any where on the circle area. So I draw a circle that is used for a bolt to connect a case. And I just simply, instead of redrawing another four point, I just simply copy and then paste to all other holes. So now I know all the, the locational information I need 
to make a case for uh, acrylic case for this Arduino. So these are the things we need. 몇 가지 질문 있는 사람 있어요? Anyone ha any, have any questions so far? Okay. Uh, and then, uh, when, so uh, what we are going to do is, um, so we are going to laser cut this one. So let's say that these are, uh, we can actually, uh, we can think of it. I, I just kind of make another copy. So I just copy all these two and then place it on the right side of it. So we need um, two drawings, which is, uh, I can call it that, this one, the left one is bottom case. Height, I think we need at least five millimeter. So I said, I kind of think that we need too small. So I would rather say 20. I just scale it up. So the left one is bottom case and the right side is actually top case. I change it to top case. And we need to actually add the side panel, uh, 3D mat, and then uh, we can actually, we need a kind of structure or wall like uh, case, which is actually side case. Uh, we need to actually at least, we need to have, when I measure that, including all the bottom pieces and the top, uh, we, I, when I measure that, I need at least 14 millimeter, but I just kind of offer some margin. So I just said it's 15 millimeter, meaning that uh, we need at least height of 15 millimeter. So I just kind of, I want to see that as an example. So I just kind of draw, extrude this one. So roughly this one is the kind of like bounding box model of our case of an Arduino. So Arduino will be located inside of it. Can you imagine that? So now what we see is that two actually, there are many, uh, it's up, from now on, it's up to you. There are many, many, many uh, design very, uh, uh, there are possible design variations you can use. 여러분들 디자인 지금도 굉장히 많은 방식을 쓸수 있는데, I just use the simplest way uh, to design that. So what I'm going to do is that, so as I explained before, the, the, the thickness of this acrylic is 2.1 millimeter. But I'm highly sure that if I measure other area, actually this one is two millimeter standard acrylic sheet. So let's say that I want to locate two millimeter acrylic sheet on three sides, one, two, three. So probably I may locate one corner here. And then another corner is probably the same as this. And then the thickness is probably two millimeter. And then height is, uh, so I have to go to lower. So now this is probably the side panel to walk it as a kind of like wall or a structure column. So your own side panel you can appear ago. Then I need another one on the another side of it. 반대쪽에도 하나 필요하겠죠. So I use mirror. Uh, this one is already selected. So I said I select the middle point, and then I just use the mirror function and locate on the other side. And then probably we can actually design another, but to make a story simple, I just want, okay, let's say that I want to have just two side panels only that can keep uh, this bottom cover and the top cover on the right place. 자, 여기서부터 이제 여러분들 굉장히 다양한 거를 할 수가 있는데, so um, let's think about it. How we can assemble this bottom acrylic sheet and the side acrylic sheet and make it assemble it. And then we need to go back to the idea of joinery 
we have studied for the last two weeks. 그러니까 여기 이제 지금부터 여러분들이 지난 주에 배웠던 이제 조이너리에 대해서 생각을 해봐야죠. 이두 이 개의 아크릴릭을 어떻게 조인트를 만들어서 결합을 시킬 것인가라고 이제 하는 건데. So um, I just kind of show uh, some uh, examples. So let's say that this is a laser cut uh, cut case. So kind of let's you can actually uh, you can please find out some uh, laser cut case using Google. So probably the easiest solution is probably this. So this one is simply cutting the bottom acrylic panel and the top acrylic panel with opening and also some uh, holes so that a screws or bolts can go through it. 이게 아마 제일 쉽게 할수 있는 건데 So this is probably the easiest or the quickest way to design a case for Arduino. However, one bad thing is that you have to buy this kind of copper tube to maintain the exact height together. 네, 여러분도 이거 그 카퍼 튜브를 사서 잘라야 돼요. But, uh, but actually it'll take several, a week, at least a week for you to order to find and order and get this kind of copper tube and cut them uh, into a right length or right height. And another way is, this one is very conventional a way of making joinery using flat sheet. Do you see this negative and positive repeated pattern? So this is one another way of making it. And actually the one I'm going to go through is actually this case. So as you see that using only some corner point here and here, and another point here, you can only make some proportional or fractured joint and use that part to maintain their proper location. So cutting a little out, one part a little bit outside and another part inside, you can actually keep their position into a designated location. This one is probably a similar one that is using acrylic and also you can add some decoration on top of that. For our assignment, at least, uh, please add some decorative cutting on the top cover or bottom cover, at least your name. So what we are going to repeat today, this time is that you can simply use a text object like last, like last week. So let's say that you can add you can, let's say that at least a date. So March 14 and your name and probably your department. Oh, <laughs> I hate this auto uh, change. Okay. I just type something and then probably your department. Or I would say make a class. And then at this time, and then probably the height is supposed to be 20 millimeter at least, I guess. And then you, in this time, last time you used solid because you want to 3D print your text object, but this time we are going to laser cut it. So you have to use it as a curves. And then also I recommend for you to select group output. And if you press okay, then you can actually locate your name uh, somewhere at the bottom cover. And something you have to remember is that something like this O in the O, and this O part in G and another opening in A, this will be all eliminated because laser cutting, when a laser cutter will cut out this boundary of it, basically it will eliminate whatever inside. So keep in mind. To prevent that, this one is very, um, it's just, kind of, it's just a very uh, simple technique. 
what I want to do is I explode this curve. And then I need to actually make some bridges. So, so this one is all grouped. So I have to ungroup that. And then this one is basically all curves. And what I'm going to do is I simply make a bridge. I just draw a line and then I use a split function and select everything and cutting object. I also select everything. Oh, okay. So I just split object to split this O and cutting and then press enter to shift to cutting object and I select this lines as my cutting object. And then actually I can split these curves. And then to cap this another line, you can base, uh, and then I just delete these two curves. And then I just draw another curve to end point to end. And by cutting like this, I can keep the inner O part. Uh, this, is, this is just a technique, that's it. So if, if, if you want to make it looks nicer, you can add some bridge here. If you don't want to, just skip this part. Important thing is not this part. So now let's go back to something important. Okay. Later cutting, when it cut out, something you have to remember is that The way how laser cutting works is that laser cut will shoot laser beam to your material. And by doing so, it will melt or it will burn out uh, wherever the beam goes through. And then the width of laser cutter is roughly about, sometimes it's 0 0.5 millimeter, but sometimes it goes to one, even one millimeter. It depends on the power setting and the speed setting you are going to use. 그러니까 이게 여러분들이 파워를 어떻게 세팅하느냐, 스피드를 어떻게 세팅하느냐에 따라서 매번 달라요. So what it means by is, it, you can actually set the power of laser beam. It is in terms of percentage of the, each machine. So you can set the power from zero power to 100% power. It just, you can just propose, I believe that's all the machines use. 여러분, laser cutting 쓸 때는 laser power를, 그러니까 laser power가 어떤 power를 갖고 있든 간에, 그거에 0%에서 100%까지 세팅을 쓸 수가 있고, and you can also change the power setting or speed setting from 0% to 100%, whatever the laser cutter has. 여러분들이 레이저 커터의 스피드 또한 0%에서 100%로 왔다 갔다를 해요. 이게 무슨 뜻이냐면 So imagine that even if and then uh, the problem is that laser cutting is not really a smart machine. So it just moves uh, by its setting speed and setting power is simply used them. And the problem is, it works differently when it follows a straight line or when it follows a curved line. One of the problem of the curved line or straight line is that the way how any laser cutting, CNC or 3D, put, 3D printing, their mechanism is so-called this kind of solid link system, meaning that any curve or circle made out of machine or 3D printer or any kind of paper printer, it uses X axis and Y axis and 3D printer has a G axis and laser printer has only X axis, Y axis movement. So the, the corner, so you probably have heard about uh, probably last year image. 
So in the last image, as you see that, curve is not really a curve. Instead, it's a kind of X, Y, zigzag movement. So the reason why this one happened is whatever you make in, so, so whatever we make in Rhino is a, actually a vector file, but whatever it really works in physical world is actually a raster file. And then when you move only X and Y line, you can simply rotate one of two motors, which is X motor or Y motor, meaning that mechanically it works faster and it works quite efficiently. And in even speed, it moves out. But in X, Y, when you actually want to cut any curves, it is the combination of X movement and Y motor movement. Now, this one is create a kind of sophisticated situations. So kind of like you will see a kind of a maximum speed and minimum speed setting you are going to see. Because if you set only one speed, it will really move fast when you cut horizontal line or vertical line. So by doing so, you may not have enough cutting power because it moves so fast. However, in the same speed, when you actually want to cut circle or curve, it moves slowly. So actually it will cut or it'll melt material more than you imagine. So there are two speed setting because you, you want to, so can you imagine that? When you want to use maximum speed or faster speed, when you want to draw, when you want to your laser cutter move faster than before, Or when you want to move, your laser cutter move slowly than others. 자 같은 파워가 있을 때, if you have one, if when you set, imagine that laser cutting, you can actually have only one power setting. But in terms of speed, you'll have minimum speed and maximum speed. The reason why you have two speed setting is. Even the, for a single speed setting, the line movement and curve movements will have different speed result. So for linear movement, X or Y axis linear movement, you may want to your laser cutting faster or slower. Ah, 머리 아프죠? So now this is confusing time. <laughs> 자, 같은 파워가 있을 때, 그죠? 같은 파워, so let's say that you have 50% power and 50% power speed, speed. Even if you use 50% speed, curve moves slower than the 50. By doing so, your curve cutting may melt more material and linear movement moves faster than 50, so it will cut less than your usual setting. So you may want to use faster speed on, so you can exercise, I kind of make a story very simple. Your linear X, Y movement will be faster. So you want to make it slower. Remember just this line, because it will just follow the axis of a mechanical system, it will move faster. So you want to slow it down. For a curved movement, this one is even slower than you think. So you can actually, you want to make it faster. So for maximum speed, curve, minimum speed, linear. So you got it? Okay, so here's the, the issue. And now we have different issue. 
than 3D printing. 3D printing always is a kind of additive material, additive technique, so it'll add the material. So it'll make it thicker. Laser cutting is subtractive manufacturing system, meaning that it'll melt more material than you expect. So now what we are going to do, what I really need to think about this. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I will make it the bottom curve a little bit larger. So I'm going to use offset and then probably make it five millimeter larger than the Arduino size. Because I want to keep this one inside of this material. And we now, we need to design some opening. So what I'm going to do, so let's, just, let's kind of design together what we have to do to make the design of joinery between bottom acrylic cover and the vertical, uh, the side material. I just hide this box for now. So, so you, we don't want to this one go through it. So we want to have some middle part blocked. So let's say that do we have a rectangle? Okay, so I want to draw one rectangle below. Okay. Now that this curve is the joinery area. What I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, so probably the, I will probably, I will explode this rectangle into multiple curves. So I use explode function. And then I kind of select this curve and this top curve, and then I divide them into at least three. Uh, divide, enter, and number of segments, three and enter. So what I'm going to do is that I may want to this left part and right part, I may, I may want to make it as a holes, but still I want to keep the middle part as a bridge. So what I need to do, so I just, I kind of like, I just kind of, I want to make a new layer. And this one, I just say laser cutting. And this, I change this one into red because this is important. And then the core part on the bottom layer, probably this. This is the left side of it and on the right side of it. So if I hide or other area, probably this red part will be the opening so the side material may go through it. And then I wish that you understand so far. <laughs> Let's talk about side panel. I changed this one as a side panel. So for the side panel, so this is the default material that we need to maintain it to the side. And then probably I simply copy this one. And okay, let's just make a 3D model of it to make it easier. So what I do, so by using this, uh, okay, so, okay. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to make an extrusion. So I simply make, I just use the center part. And then we need, I need to make this one extrude downward because this will join with this create a joint to the bottom acrylic sheet. Uh, acrylic sheet. So probably, and then the acrylic sheet was two millimeter. So I just make it as, okay. Uh, instead of two, I just set it minus two. And then probably this one supposed to have on the other side too, because we have bottom cover and a top cover. So I just simply use meter. And then I select the midpoint of this one and then I locate it here. So the side panel supposed to look like the unified model of this one and this one. Can you, can you now understand it? And then the bottom part, so actually let's say that I select this one and then three dimensionally,
Yeah, I just delete all the points. I want to delete the point so I can select PT and delete it. And then I can select, I cannot select. Uh, how can, okay, I just go back to this one. It looks like I deleted. So I need, I want to show the 3D model of the bottom side. So I just redraw uh, this intersection point. So this curve, and I select the boundary curve. So because the one I, what I like to do is I want to extrude it. Uh, first, yeah, I want, uh, I first make it as a surface. So I'm using planar curves. So it'll create a curve that has a hole here. And then using this hole, I just extrude the surface. I do not select extract surface, which is different from extrude the surface. So I select extrude the surface. And then I type minus two because I want to extrude it to the minus direction. And then probably if I take a look at about shaded view, not that great, ghosted view. Uh, so in, I, I'm not so sure that in a ghosted view, you can really, you can see that. So by doing, by seeing, and then I want to change this one also, laser cutting. So now you have this one. Uh, I think this one is a little bit, uh, this one supposed to move up like this. So can you understand the kind of three dimensional of the side panel on the bottom panel? So side panel, and then I probably use union, uh, but okay, so just to show that, so the red part, including this one, so side, so these three, these three parts is, side panel with joint and bottom is this is the actually the bottom part that need the joint between side panel uh one um but what something really convenient for us uh i just made a 3d model because I want just make you understand easier than 2D drawing, but actually laser cutting does not require any 2D, 3D model. It only requires 2D drawing. So let's delete all the 3D model. And then if you are smart enough, I'm highly sure that you are. <laughs> you only need actually, uh, so you only need uh, this one. So you don't really need to draw this 3D model. However, um, so what I do is I just simply copy this one to the side so we can see that uh, separately. Uh, uh, sorry that this one's supposed to move down. So this is the right one. And then what I'm going to do is I will rotate this one 90 degree. So I just rotate and ro I will rotate this one into right view. Okay, so I select the corner and then I rotate horizontally. So this is actually the one we need to make the side panel. And this one, what we can also, so we can actually, let's just draw very quickly the side, the drawing we need. I just use polyline, but there, there are many, many different ways. So this is just consider this one as simply one way. So I just draw the boundary of the bottom layer of a corner point. I'm just tracing the corner point, that's it. And then we don't really need to see this three-dimensional line. And this is the side 
panel, the drawing to cut out the side panel point. That's it. So actually laser cutting is actually relatively easy. I don't know how confused you are. <laughs> and so just this process is simply showed you because I just want to show the three dimensional relationship. However, now let's go back to professional way or um, general of making it so let's say let's go back to one more uh, okay uh, the original way of doing it is not this uh, i just simply again i simply showed you 3d model for you to understand it but that's we don't need 3d model so let's let's kind of uh, pretend that we don't really need to see any three-dimensional model so i just simply uh, move on this one away so all we need to draw so let's assume that going back to top view so we all we all we need is we want to draw this part without this 3d model that's it so all we have to do is of course we need to uh, identify the where we want to locate okay, so we are i'm going back to this previous version so this one is the boundary curve so let's kind of clean up more so this one is actually boundary so i make it by all that and let's say that this one is the opening for side. So I just create another layer as I called it opening for side. And then I change the position. This one is opening for side. Okay, so now you see this one. But so the, this is so once you actually set the location of side panel, and this is the kind of like bottom line of the side panel, uh, I have to go through the, again, I have to explode it because I want to divide into at least three. So now I, first I draw rectangle and then, then I draw, I explode it. I divide, again, I divide, this curve into three, but you can actually divide into six or it really depends on you. So if you want to make more stronger joint, you can have more male and female side, but the minimum is at least three or two. And then I simply extend the line. I just draw an extended line from these two. So I know the location of the whore. And then what you need is that uh, the side, the height of a side panel is 15 millimeter. That's all we need. And then that's, so I just draw some line from here. And then I, I also move this one to pretend that I don't have this one. So I just draw from this line. And then I need to offset this one to 15 millimeter which is the size of our height. Oh, I want to draw another side panel. So this is the 15 millimeter with the height that we need. So let's kind of draw it to show it more clearly. So this one is 15 millimeter, which is the exact size of uh, height that we need. And then we need to offset two millimeter, which and the top cover, we need to offset two millimeter of off side and bottom line to the bottom side. And these two lines we needed because this one is the joint area between side panel and the bottom panel. 
And then prop, and then the last part is using all these lines. Okay, so I just kind of, uh, I change it to laser cutting. And then you can actually draw, I can draw polyline using intersection. Uh, probably, oh, the height will be different, probably. As you see that, um, oh, they are, are they in the same height? Uh, actually, um, these ones are actually located below, so I don't, so that's why I don't, I can't select it. So just be careful that, so this one is on the zero line. And this, uh, something locked. This is zero line. Or somehow this one is locked. Uh, something. Hmm. This is here. I just draw one more time. Or somehow I cannot really draw this. Okay, so now, okay. okay, so this one is so-called guidelines that we draw in, uh, in 3D printing. And then the cutting, uh, so I could, okay, I just clear out, this one is guidelines. So I set, I set all of these into guidelines. Okay, and then for laser cutting, which is this, I redraw, this one is red one. And then I kind of redraw a clean finish line that is for side line. Okay, so this is the cutting line for the side. And actually you need the two because we have upper side of side cover and the down the other side of side. So I think I also using meter function, select the center line of this model and then I draw it here. And for the bottom line, the, just kind of clean up the model so this is the curve of the bottom cover. So I simply change it to also laser cutting. So this one is the red one. And then also we need to cut all these pores at the bottom. And these will be our cutting line, uh, laser cutting. Probably there are poly surface. I just draw the surface. So these these three one, this bottom line and holes, and the side panels are ready. And another one we need is actually top cover. So I simply copy this name, and this is the opening for the pins connection, and this is the boundary line line. So I simply copy these things based on this zero point to, actually you don't really need that, but I, I just simply move it to the right side of it, that's it. And then I just don't need all of these. I move it to a little bit next to the bottom cover to save material. Uh, something I forget is I also need this opening for both bottom and top. So I just copy this one from this corner to here. And then I don't need guidelines and other openings. 
and I don't need this 3D model and I don't need point and I don't need all other things. And this letter is simply uh, for us to understand what these are. So this one is bottom case and this is top case. Okay, I, okay, so this is, oh, this one is, oh, I have some problems. So this is the one, so I need to move this one to actually zero. Oh, I have some problem with this corner point. So I just moved down this one to I know that this one height is 15 millimeter. So I just change to, I move it down. And also this one, selected this one. I also move down 15 millimeter. So this week's assignment, sorry for the quite messy stuff. However, this is the one you need, not today, this is Sunday. Uh, one thing missing here, uh, I forgot that. Okay, here, what we missed here is actually, okay, I need to draw one more time. Divide three. So for late, we need another four here for this career. And then I just mirror this one so we can have it to the another side. And I don't need all these. And as you see, this one, or you also need it for the top cover. So I just copy this one to here. And then we don't need opening for the bottom side. It's only needed for the top case. So this is so far is the laser cutting file we need. It's up to you that whether you have this names on a bottom side or top side. I want to only have it on the top side. And there will be some problems here. Can you identify what will be the problems here? The joint is too close to uh, the banner. I don't know. Yeah, so actually, as you see that, this will make a one single cutting area, probably. So actually, I would prefer, so the design probably, this one probably move. So when I move actually this one, then actually I may need to move this one too. So probably I may want to move this one to the bottom, more bottom area. So probably I just move down further. So then actually now you will see that this one is too narrow. So probably it will be okay for now. However, if there will be certain shock or if you hit something here, then probably this one will easily break. So you have another option that you can actually rather design uh, this part, maybe you may want to put it actually even here. So, and because anyway, it will break out so you can actually locate it here. Then there will be another problem. What's the problem that if you located this corner opening here? Then we can't attach the, the side and to it because it's not yeah. fixed. Yeah, now, yeah, that's correct. So actually this one is opened area. So 
what will happen is that it, this, this opening will hold this one in the right place without any glue or any cement. But if you place it to the side area, you need another a way to attach that, uh, place it into you know, a position. So for now, I just simply locate it somewhere into the center. And then I want to something symmetrical. So probably I delete the original location of it. And then I simply meter one more time. So it will have, I will have the side panel on an uh, identical location. But this one is my very simple design, but your actual joinery will be, I want to let you design, how do you want to join them together? Even uh, you are welcome to, I just use this one as five millimeter setup from the original PCB size, but you are, you can think of it that you can even offset like 10 centimeter wider. So you can have stronger support to prevent this kind of thin side panel. And I am actually um, showing you very kind of like a optimized so-called really minimum material design way. But what if you design your Arduino something round? So you don't really need to make this one as rectangular. You can do, I hope you do something creative, <laughs> something on your design. It, this can be your face design, your can be your head part, or this can be something triangular. It could be anything. So I hope you to feel free to design and uh, have some creative way. If you a little bit check about Arduino case, so let's just say, let, let's kind of, I don't know, but creative Arduino case design, uh, something table-like Arduino <laughs> using laser cutter. Uh, there are not so many creative ones. So feel free to, uh, design your own. But this one is not really final project. This one is just quick, a weekly assignment for you to learn how to use laser cutter, that's it. So you can do it as, you can do, you can find a something quick way of designing it. Oh, this one is even uh, more, this one is very different approach. So my design, was cover everything, but this one even cut out the location of USB connection. So actually this one make it as it goes through it. I don't know whether this one is good or bad. Uh, it looks kind of, it, has, it kind of has a lot of detail, so I like it. And then this one even have some interesting corner design. So actually this design actually does not use the Arduino's whole location, rather it has independent, actually bolt location. So uh, feel free to make your own, something strong or de depending on your design purpose. What I, mean, what, I mean, what I mean by design purpose is that, so let's think about that. My design idea, I think this one is something look like this. Okay, so let's think about it. Uh, this one is something close to what I designed, something side, simple side panel. And even there's another design. So think about what is the purpose of your design? If your design is to save your time and if you want to finish your, this weekly assignment as quickly as possible, then simply doing what I demonstrated to you. If your design, if, you're the, if, you're, if the purpose of, of your design is kind of make something funky and something fun, then I would make something dog or cat or rat 
or something. Since Arduino is actually, I, did, did I tell you that the, where the, I, the name of the Arduino came from? Actually, the name Arduino is the first espresso inventor, definitely who is Italian. So Arduino, the name Arduino is kind of like homage to the, the inventor of the one of the most important machine to humankind, which is espresso. <laughs> and then you probably uh, know that the name of the attachment to the Arduino is called Arduino Shield. Shield is a bottle. So you can design a kind of armor, armory related kind of shape because the older name comes from military thing. But if your design is kind of something, I don't know. So it, all design is, has a purpose. So clarify what is the purpose of your design and make your fabrication that satisfy your purpose. That's the kind of idea. If you want to make something bio-inspired thing, then you can something a muscle-like thing, or you can actually some graphic laser cutting like eyes or I don't know, bones or skeleton-like thing. Or if you like cars or airplane, you can change, you can actually take the shape out of it. But that this is that's the pretty much that's it. Uh, and then um, what you will happen is that um, because laser cutting will eliminate or remove quite many materials, quite much material than you thought. 그러니까 여러분이 laser cutting을 하면 문제가 뭐냐면 꽤그 그 material을 많이 깎아 먹어요. So the problem of the laser cutting, particularly when you make something assembly, the problem is everything supposed to be designed, supposed to be smaller than you expect. But since you didn't really laser cut before, you don't know that kind of thing. So anyway, there's no way for you to know at this stage. So for now, see, I just want you to simply cut out uh, as a, uh, I don't know, as a beginner's point of view, and then you kind of, Consider this one as your first trier, and then you will learn that what will be considered next time, and then you have to redesign it. That one, I will explain it on Wednesday. So that's it for today. So this one is just simply today's purpose is introducing uh, what is the laser cutting and how to make a simple project using laser cutting and what you should consider when you use a laser cutting machine. That's it. 네, 여러분들 이번 주 거는 별로 어려운 거 없죠. 그냥 2D로 그냥 이렇게, 이렇게 만들어서 어셈블리 만드는 거 그냥 한번 그려보면 되는 거예요. 혹시, uh, do you have any questions so far? So just, if I just wrapping up today's class uh, that we learned how to use Caliper, if I re kind of reintroduce it. Um, Ah, 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 you come on. Okay, so this is a caliper. You can measure it very precisely any thickness or length or inner dimension. But the first thing you have to do is you can turn it on and off. And make sure always the first thing you have to check is whether the unit is millimeter or inch. You can change it by pressing this blue button. This one is inch and this one is millimeter. And the first thing, another thing you, second thing that you have to do first is calibrating it, which is pressing it as firmly as possible. And there's a press zero. So by doing so, you can calibrate it. And then we can actually change the kind of width and height by using this way. So this one is measuring the length of any object, or this one is measuring the thickness of inner dimension of it. So you are going to use this one a lot. This will be located in Makerspace 
in every uh, mesh shelves. So you can use it uh, here, but I strongly recommend for you to buy one. This one, I bought it like $1 from AliExpress. So it's very cheap. If something good is multiple hundred dollars, but I don't really see the point to buy expensive one. So, 그냥 싼거 하나 사도 돼요. 이건 뭐 아무 저희가 보기 아무 문제 없었던 거 같아요. So, laser cutting acrylic은 we are going to use a two millimeter laser, a two millimeter acrylic sheet. Um, 수요일 날할건 뭐냐면, so what we are going to do, what we are going to do on Wednesday is that what if suddenly you realize that. Or your previous students used up two millimeter acrylic sheets. And now you realize that once you come to the makerspace, now you realize that only three millimeter acrylic sheets are left. What do you have to do? It looks like this one is hypothetical scenario. However, it, it happened so many times, meaning, meaning that you designed some case or machine or robot based on your assumption that some materials you can buy quickly but once you uh, one but once actually you check all the offline stores around you or online stores you can buy then suddenly you realize that the material the designated thickness of material you thought you can buy are not available, then you have to change them, everything. Particularly, what do you have to change here? You have to change all the openings and all, you have to change all the joint that you assume that you are going to use two millimeter thickness material. Then if you have to use only left, only material left are three millimeter, then you have to change all the design. Meaning you have to go through all these process from a scratch. But the urban, if you have a grasshopper coat, this can be done in a minute or two. So we are cover that kind of parametric manipulation this Wednesday. So you will have uh, two different assignments. Uh, uh, one is just to design this one manually. And the second assignment is will, you can actually add up a grasshopper coat to manipulate the all the joints automatically. Okay, Yorobundur, Wednesday. And all of these assignments will be due this Sunday. So you will have time. Uh, so do you have any questions so far? Um, so uh, what if we want to like uh, do a texture on the case? Uh, we just put an image onto the the top. Ah, ah, that one is like oh yeah, you can. Uh, so that one is actually laser etching. Uh, I will show you. I will show you here. Uh, so if you want, you can do that. If you want to add something. Uh, I'll share, uh, but this one, I never tried to uh, acrylic shit, but it, I'm hardly sure it'll work. Um, so laser cutting has two different modes. One is cutting and the second one is etching. And what I'm showing here is actually etching. And what kind of the images you see here now is so what you can do is you can change the power really low, like 5% or 10%, and then you can speed up. You can use the speed up like, I don't know, 80%, 70%, and you can basically etch the surface of acrylic sheet. That make the surface of acrylic surface kind of opaque or translucent, such as... Uh, You can have this kind of effect. It's coming, yes. 
or you can do this. You can use this kind of thing. So your health, and then actually you can have some kind of like LED, this kind of light uh, limit, light emitting issue, uh, light emitting design later. So feel free to do that. Uh, to do that, um, uh, the, the way how this one works, uh, you need to have black grayscale image. So basically, it will uses, so grayscale image have, so in grayscale image, each, each pixel has value from zero and 255. If it, if it is too, white is 255 and zero is black. So the whiter area, the, the more wider area, the high area will cut more. But um, the zero area will kind of cut less. Uh, but pretty much it's also easy. So it's really up to you. Yeah, so each, each one you can, you're highly welcome to use any etching too. Okay, okay. thank you. Uh -huh. 혹시 또 다른 질문 있나요? And, and then I have to say that um, when you actually use uh, images, the result was always the result were quite different from your expectations. Uh, rather, if you have a vector graphic like this, basically these are all lines, and then simply you use the low setting power always works better. Uh, yeah. Something like this always works better, which is basically these are all vector drawing. Yeah. 또 다른 질문 있나요? 네, 그러면 오늘은 여기까지. So that's it for today. All right. Okay. 네, 그러면 네, 수고 많이 하셨습니다. 수고하셨습니다. 네.